Yo, what is up guys? Bruni guys, the second video here today. This is the second walkthrough. This is like the third mission. So each video that I bring, I'll try to bring about two or three missions. It just depends on how long the missions are. I don't want to bring like a 40 minute video. However, man, I got to say this right now. This by far is my favorite mission. And just again, like I've talked about in the previous video, the graphics are just amazing. Now they're not necessarily groundbreaking. They're not gonna be where to the point where we're like wow this is this is everything they got but the graphics just look really good and I'm just so happy to bring you guys gameplay on this also I gotta clear this up in the previous video I know the audio if you guys watched it which again I know this is a channel that's growing it's not necessarily too much views going on so again it's just all about growing as a content creator but anyways like I was trying to say is that the audio was really low at points, especially when I let Pox talk during the dialogue. It seemed very low, so my apologies on that. I definitely need feedback on that, so that way I can improve on that. And not only improve, but bring you guys better content, obviously. That, that's just one of my goals as a content creator, is to bring you guys the best gameplay I possibly can. And there's just a lot of content creators, so it's, it's really dope to be able to say that I'm going to bring you guys gameplay and, and my details and my history on gaming on previous gens as well. Just t having conversations. It, it's pretty dope. And hearing your guys' feedback in the comment section it is just, it really, it makes me happy. But anyway, let's get right into it. So this is like the third mission and this is Rockwell, I believe. So this is the mission where you have to be the mayor. And let me just say this right now. The mayor, the mayor scene or the mayor mission part where you have to talk to the audience. It's just so weird. The the responses that you get from the, the crowd is just, it's so funny. And at times, you're just going to ask yourself, what the heck? Like, how does that make any sense? But I'm going to go ahead and let this play out right here. You see the mayor. Again, he's scared because of crypto, obviously. And just look at the graphics compared to the first one. If you guys played the first one, you guys would know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so the first, or, or not the first one, but the part where you're transform to the mayor it's just so funny because some of the the, the questions that are at or not necessarily questions but the answers that you give are just flat out like what the heck like the, a WTF moment but it's so funny and hilarious because that's how the first one was however again if you guys played the first one there's just so much things that they changed it wasn't necessarily just a remake in terms of graphics they they added the boost they added the jumping with the with the clone that you or not necessarily the clone but the person you transform to so that's pretty dope that they added that now right here you had to be a cop and um that, that would have been very interesting if they added like weapons like a human weapon you use a pistol but i think that kind of would have drifted away from the from the normal destroy humans so i think they did a very good job with keeping that little atmosphere going on with just being able to walk around and disguising yourself so right here, I forgot to to uh, scan all the the humans that were right there at the speech ceremony, I believe, and I didn't necessarily get that part. So another thing that they added was a uh, little objective. So you, you had to you had to do certain objectives. Now, <clears throat> my apologies, had to clear my throat, but there's objectives that you have to do now, and for some odd reason, I kind of ignore them. And you shouldn't ignore them because you can also get achievements doing them. So that's my apologies. So right here, we're going to go ahead and turn to the mayor. And I'm going to go ahead and let this play out. I'm not going to talk over this. And I'm going to just let you guys see it for yourself. And, and exactly what I mean, how funny this this whole dialogue is. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Crypto, or crypto is the mayor. So let's just see what happens. Every one of the dang cows, and then it looked like it stuck some sort of device up the poor thing. Crap, crap, and after all that, I didn't even get to see Miss Rockwell. She just walked right on by with her crops laid out flat in circles like a Fourth of July pinwheel. I told Edgar, there goes our savings, no new shoes for the twins, and I guess Darlene's just gonna have to live another year with that overbite. Greetings, fellow human agricultural engineers. There is nothing going on here. Everything is normal. Carry on with your pathetic human lives. That is all. Now, wait just a cotton-picking minute. Mr. Mayor, I've lived in this town all my life, and I voted for you twice in the last election. Now, I'm entitled to a goddamn answer. If there ain't nothing going on here, how come all my cows is glowing like lightning bugs? What you say to that, Whipper Snapper?
I don't know why, but it isn't from the death ray of a flying saucer, I can tell you that. You want to know what's been going on around here? I'll tell you what's been going on around here. Communism, that's what. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm not willing to see the land our forefathers fought and died for fall under the boot of the creeping red menace. Not on my watch. Listen, you've been a great audience. Don't forget to tip the veal and try the waitresses. And if you like what you heard, throw me a bone and vote for me next election day. Early and often. Now wait just a second. How in the world does any of that explain the destruction at the fair? Read my lips. I will not rest until we find the perpetrators of the fairground carnage and uh, bring him to justice. Well, now, hold on. How come nobody in Santa Modeste has been seeing anything like this? Because we're real Americans and they're not. Next. So, as you can see, there's nothing to trouble your puny human brains about. The mayor's right. This was all just a random series of suspiciously coincidental yet easily rationalized events. Yeah, that's right. Give it up. Let's hear it for me. Suckers. Good night, and uh, have a pleasure tomorrow. Okay, so that is the end of the speech that the mayor has to give. Crypto is obviously disguised as a mayor. And man, just look at that graphic. Look at those graphics. I, I just love it so much, the aesthetic. And that just makes me so happy, man, that that's just something that I'm, I'm thankful. So shout out to... To the remasters, I forgot who developed this game, but I know it definitely has to do with THQ. And again, as this brings back a lot of memories. Also, let me know your your favorite Destroy Humans. My personal favorite was The Path of the Furon, but again, that game is definitely controversial when it comes to being a complete game. But that's pretty much it for that mission. Again, it wasn't necessarily something that you had to do. It was so hard. There was just times where where you had to transform to the or disguise yourself as a human being and pretty much go to the speech that was the only really mission you would say in the cows in the beginning and man let me just say this right now Sonny M Modesco or Modesca or something like that is, is this, I believe like the fourth mission this is by far my favorite mission the 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 vibe is just everything I like about about crypto the whole alien invasion it just, it just makes me so happy to to play this mission so right here you guys can see there's a lot of upgrades you can do they definitely change the format it's not necessarily the same as the first one which is pretty obvious right but yeah this is my favorite mission just you guys will go ahead and look for yourself right now you guys can go ahead and take a look the the music that plays in the background during the pool parties just a lot of memories and you guys can see for yourself right here with the flying saucer going ahead and landing and this is by far one of my favorite missions uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are already playing the game i know the game comes out tomorrow officially or at nine o'clock eastern time i believe so yeah look at this mission right here is just my favorite and i know there's a lot of these collectibles that you have to get around the map which are pretty common to find they're not necessarily too hard to look for but it really just depends on how often do you explore the map or are you just playing the mission or are you actually gonna go 
explorer to find these collectibles you can also get points to unlock certain items or certain upgrades should i say and just look at the look at the atmosphere this is just incredible and for some reason this kind of reminds me of the truman show for some odd reason i don't know why but I don't know if you guys remembered in the Path of the Furon, there was like a, a map where it was kind of like a like a dome, and they put humans in there, but everything was fake. It was so artificial, but that's just an old mission that I used to play on. And this just made me happy seeing the, the human right here laying down right here, just enjoying the pool or the sun in general with the shades on. And it's just so, so, so amazing of how far we've come graphically wise. And just being able to say that, hey, if we make a new Destroy Humans, I can only imagine how good the graphics, the gameplay, maybe even an online co-op. That'll be that'll be something that I'll enjoy playing. Unfortunately, this Destroy Humans remastered version does not have any sort of online, so I was kind of disappointed because I really would love to play with my friend, especially since this game is only uh, a campaign mission or campaign based. There isn't necessarily something that. You can go ahead and play online. There's there's not any of that. But again, that's definitely very controversial. There's a lot of times where people think that if a game doesn't have multiplayer, does this game mean it's not necessarily good? There's It's been proven with many games such as, I believe, let me think on top of my head. What games, oh, my apologies for that. What games, uh, Skyrim, God of War, uh, dang, Assassin's Creed maybe? No, I don't know about that. But anyways, let's continue with the mission right here. We have to scan the human beings at this pool party and just let, just look how this, this just looks amazing. The sun, the whole motel scene, it just, it just looks incredible to me. And I might, I might be seeming like I'm, I'm over here like a little freaking fanboy, but I am a fanboy, guys, and I'm, and I'm so happy to admit I am because this is something I've been looking forward to for so long it's just unbelievable and just seeing this just makes me happy once again I know I'm repeating myself a lot my apologies but anyway now we got to trash the the pool party and again if you guys put the first one it's, it's exactly the same now for some reason it was kind of glitchy right now when it came to to the whole being compromised when you're when you're disguised as a human being, it definitely there was something going on. I don't know what exactly what was going on. I think I might have pushed something that I shouldn't have. But right here, you guys can go ahead and see that you have to destroy uh, basically any human that's over here located. The police right here. Also, I would really recommend if you guys are playing the game, go ahead and, and, and do body snatch or do the head and brain to get the point because you really, really need that to upgrade your weapons. So make sure you do not sleep on that. Again, you want to upgrade your weapons, so right here you can go ahead and see Crypto for some odd reason. I don't know what the heck's going on being compromised, the whole circle. I don't really like that, but I didn't really know how to take it off anyway. But again, my apologies that I didn't necessarily bring the best gameplay in terms of being format. Or not necessarily format, but it should have definitely been more clear. But I'm going to go ahead and let this conversation go on with Crypto and Pox once again. Be on your guard. You'll need a new weapon to handle the Santa Modesta police force. So I'm unlocking your disintegrator ray. Try it out on the fuzz. Okay then, so he gives us the, the I believe this was just called the incendiator ray. Uh, my bad if I mispronounce that. And this weapon right here, this is what I really wanted because I was getting kind of tired and bored of using the Zappomatic. The Zappomatic just to be honest. I just felt as if it was a little repetitive, just shocking the enemy. So this was definitely a weapon that I, I really love using because it definitely feels different than compared to using the electric weapon. There's the anal probe and I believe there's the ion detonator or something like that. And I can't wait to get started to using on those. I haven't played that part of the mission. So I'm basically going based off whatever gameplay I've recorded and I just play it. So right here you see that I have to destroy the cops and destroy cop vehicles in order to get that objective list so if you guys play the first one you guys will know that there wasn't necessarily objectives like this there was just the campaign and just go out and beat it but this one you have to basically beat certain campaign missions with certain objectives to get maybe extra dna achievements that's pretty dope again um right here i believe you can go ahead and get your refilled ammo by just pressing the x button i forgot exactly what it was called 
And again, the, the graphics here, this, this is one of my favorite maps. And just, just seeing it is just, just incredible. Um, and honestly, uh, one thing that I definitely really noticed is, is the gra since the graphics are really good, you can definitely get a new perspective on certain I or certain objectives. You don't necessarily, oh, my apologies for that. I accidentally touched my mic. But you get a lot of different perspectives. So I believe that's the end of this mission. We're moving on to, to the next point of, of, of the, it's, I believe it's the same map, but it's a different objective. And there you guys see it. We destroyed the pool party. Pretty dope. Honestly, just just feel so happy playing this game and bringing you guys gameplay as well. And I, I'm very limited when it comes to talking about certain things. So my apologies if I repeat myself. I'm really just trying to make sure I'm, I'm not necessarily bringing bland content. So right here, we're going to go ahead and upgrade the, the ray, I believe. And there's just a lot of stuff you need to upgrade. And since I'm only playing the campaign, I'm definitely very interested if you guys want me to play the side objective, see if we can beat certain time limits to certain time. So that's definitely something I'm, I'm very uh, interested in bringing to you guys in terms of the content. And also, I, if you guys watched my previous video, which was the Halo Infinite video, man, um, there's there's definitely a lot of stuff that I, I need to clear up because a lot of the information that I bring isn't necessarily 100% and I don't want you guys completely going based off what I'm saying because again I'm just I'm just a kid just trying to to really just bring you guys content and, and trying to really live this dream but we're gonna go ahead and this uh, scene play out so we're gonna go ahead and so I'm gonna catch up with you guys right Looks now after this deceive. these urban humans are savvier grittier stringier harder to fool Keep your eyes sharp and your wits sharper. Not in the open. Duck in here. Hold the frequency. Hit me. We're go for phase one. Our guys inside the station? Just waiting for the word. And the tape? And the briefcase, all queued up. Subliminal TV messages. What'll Majestic think of next? Search me. You know what a rhetorical question is? Not a clue. <sighs> Come on. Those black suits again. What's a majestic? I'm not certain, but it gives me an idea, Crypto. Wait, let me grab something to write with. If our plan is to succeed, simply reading human minds will be insufficient. We must control them. To ease the harvesting of their brain stems, grease the wheels, so to speak. Sounds like a gas. How do we do it? I believe your ebon garbed friends have provided us direction. All right, then. So, also, let me know what skin would you guys want me to wear. I'm definitely trying to get the classic crypto skin. So, right here, I believe you get introduced to the new mechanic, which wasn't in the first original version. It's, I believe it's a boost. And this is kind of like a uh, evade type of a mechanic. And to be honest, I don't really know how I feel about it. I haven't really have had a good chance to really use it. So, again, my apologies if I'm not necessarily using it to the full advantage. But uh, that's pretty dope that they introduced that. That's definitely something new. So you guys see the objective is to destroy the car with uh, some fire explosives. So. I was definitely trying to look for an explosive around the map right here. That's why I kind of let the car go on so I can go ahead and find a certain objective. But I wasn't able to. So, again, there's definitely a lot of, a lot. Just look at this, man. So inspirational. <laughs> Shout out to Flight. But, again, this is just so cool to be able to play this map. I, this, is, this is the nighttime. So, I don't remember if the first version was nighttime. But I definitely remember that that you had a, I, do I remember playing this mission? Don't necessarily remember, but you, you guys can go ahead and hear the dialogue right here. It's pretty funny with what this agent says, this little men in black says right here. This, this part made me kind of laugh. Go ahead and let you guys hear what happens right here. It's pretty funny. And bam, we just smack him. So we pick up the briefcase, and guess what? Another objective. So we gotta go there and man, um 
the Eon Detonator, or the, I said the Eon Detonator, the uh, Ray, I believe. I keep forgetting what the name is called, my bad on that. And also, look, since I am kind of bringing brand new gameplay to the channel based on destroying humans, I know, I know that's something that I said in my previous video. Here's one thing that I would love to hear you guys' favorite games, and I would love to bring them to the t to the channel because that's what I'm about. I'm all about you guys. I want to hear your guys' opinion, and I'm gonna go ahead and let this scene play out once again. So my apologies if I keep cutting off, but I'm gonna go ahead and be right back. Oh, never mind. It wasn't necessarily something, anything sort of dialogue. So right here we have to go ahead and scan guy that's sleeping so go ahead and scan him and again just some more dialogue right here's another collectible I would really recommend for you guys to go ahead and collect them all because since there isn't necessarily too much going on with the game in terms of the full depth that's definitely something you guys could definitely finish which is collecting those collectibles so we have to destroy the guy's car and we also have to drown him in the water or the ocean to be exact but it doesn't really matter as long as you drown him I'm, I'm assuming you pretty much get that objective done so let's go ahead and do that crypto right here look this is what this part right here I just love the, the graphics the aesthetic right here and I and I and I know I mentioned that a lot but again I'm, I'm when it comes to graphics and gameplay I'm really big on that and I believe that this is the part or not necessarily the part but this is this is one of my favorite missions like I said previously it's just it just feels so cool and I really would have loved for this game to be online well not co-op I mean not multiplayer co-op definitely but that that's just something that again we as fans need to let the publishers know what's up so I believe Pac wants us to mess mess with the antennas so that way we can go ahead and get something going on with the whole Huron movement with the dialogue speak right there and my apologies again if I'm kind of talking over it this is definitely one of my longest videos I've made I haven't made a video of 20 minutes ever really and all oh my apologies on that. I keep freaking hitting my the mic, and, and that was definitely something that should have not happened. So right here, we have to pretty much bend the or something. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing there, but we're going, we're messing with the TV antennas. So I'm not necessarily sure why we did this, but again, I'm just playing the game for fun. It, it's just again brings back a lot of memories. And right here, crypto. Wow. <laughs> This is crazy. Just looking at the gameplay is just amazing. Just being able to, to say, hey, this is this is the remastered version. Um, definitely a lot of stuff missing though. Like online, I'm gonna keep repeating it because I hope THQ hears that we need online on a new Destroying Humans game. Whenever it comes out, please add online co-op. We definitely need that to keep the game more immersive and, and playable right after you beat the campaign. Because once you beat the campaign, what's next, right? Do you just want the game to just sit there or do you want the game to be alive? Kind of like a GTA, but GTA is different. Obviously, it's, it's definitely more budgety wise When I say budgety, I mean it, it, it actually had more money involved instead of a game that had, you know what? okay company work on it and and publish it but destroy humans and you guys see right here i actually tried to avoid the ground because that's one of the objectives you have to do you have to go ahead and avoid the ground and we're gonna have to do this part again and that's pretty much it for this mission i believe so yeah guys my apologies if i talked a little too much I, again like i said feedback is something that i need and that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this part or this gameplay, should I say, walk through part two. And we're, I'm gonna go ahead and let this scene play out. Alright, I'm increasing the power. Wait! Crypto! The signal is too strong! Humans are weak! Their minds can't take that kind of amplitude! Quickly, Crypto! You've got to bend the antennae before they... Ooh, wow, well, big head exploding right there. <laughs> Disgusting. 
all right guys so that's pretty much it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it leave any feedback in the comment section down below so that way i can go ahead and improve on that i'm gonna keep repeating it over and over my apologies if it gets annoying let me know as well um and yeah just bring you guys consistently gameplay each video i'm gonna try to improve as well as commentating because that's something that i need to do but yeah, so shout out to everybody that made it to this point of the video. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Shout out to Crypto. Shout out to Pac. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, have a great day and peace out.